welcome to a short overview of the NISFAS bursary process. The DHET provides bursary funding for students who want to study at a TVET college. To access NISFAS bursary funding, you need to create an online profile. If applying with False Bay TVET College, the college bursary office will assist you. To apply, you need to be a South African citizen applying at a TVET college and meet the necessary bursary and academic criteria. Under the DHET bursary rules and guidelines, the following criteria applies. The student's combined household income must not be more than 350,000 per year. Academic merit means they're looking at your latest school results and require confirmation that you have been accepted into the college program. For returning students who have previously been funded, you need to have passed the minimum required subjects. Bursary rules and criteria. If you have a break in funding or studies, you need to reapply for a bursary. If you have failed to progress or repeating a level, you will not qualify for bursary funding. Students, the minimum number of subjects to pass are as follows. For trimester, N1 to N3, three out of four subjects. Report 191, N4 to N6, three out of four subjects. NCV level two to four, five out of seven subjects. Important to note, if you switch or change in program, you do not qualify for the bursary funding. N plus one rule and what it means. All NISFAS bursary applicants have a certain amount of time to complete the program they have been funded for. For NCV students, you have a maximum of four consecutive years to complete your studies. For Report 191 students, you have a maximum of four consecutive registrations to complete your studies. NISFAS allowances. Once the bursary applicant has completed the tuition application, they must also complete a separate personal care allowance. Students apply directly to the college and they either qualify for personal care plus travel or personal care and accommodation. When applying for an allowance, you need to complete the allowance application form. This needs to be stamped at your bank with the official bank stamp. You will also need to submit a letter from your bank or a bank statement confirming your banking details. Submit a certified copy of your ID. For students making use of private accommodation, you also need to complete and submit a lease agreement which includes the following information. Full name of the leaser, the landlord, and the leasee, the student. It also needs the address, the period of the rental agreement, monthly rental amount, and it also needs to be signed by the leaser and leasee, plus two witnesses. That the lease agreement must be completed by yourself and your landlord. Allowance payments will be made in monthly installments, starting at the month end following the close of registration. It will be paid out over the academic period and important to note it will be linked to your NISFAS tuition status. A minimum class attendance of 80% is required for you to receive your monthly payment. The attendance rule is currently waived under the current COVID-19 lockdown regulations in place, subject to change. Very important to note, once you have completed the application process, you are advised to create your my NISFAS online account. A valid email address and mobile number is required in order to keep in contact with the NISFAS and up to date on your bursary status. Why is your My NISFAS account important? You can check your application status here. You can upload missing documents. You can submit an appeal if your application has been rejected by NISFAS. You can also update your contact details if your cell phone number or email address has changed. Should you have any queries, we advise you to check your My NISFAS account before contacting Campus Bursary Office for assistance. 
This list has a detailed frequently asked questions for students on their website and an active social media presence. Thank you for your time and good luck with your studies. False Bay, TVET College, my dream, my college.